If you think computer understands zeros and ones, you are wrong. In this video, I will explain the reason. Binary number system has two symbols, zero and one. Let's use our slot and round concept discussed in one of the previous video to construct the count greater than one. Let's assume these boxes as slots. The first two count in the binary numbers are zero and one. The next number is one zero where the one in the leftmost slot denotes one round of 0 to 1 is over in the rightmost slot. Then we get 1 1. The next number is 1 double 0, where one in the leftmost slots denotes that one round of 0 0 to 1 1 is over in the two remaining rightmost slots. We can continue this forever to get larger counts. If you do not understand the slot and round concept which I have used to devise this binary number system, please watch my previous video or click this card to go to that video. This table shows the binary equivalent till decimal number 15. If you are studying computer science, you need to remember this mapping. It will be useful throughout your software engineering or research career. Let's look at the need and the real world usage of binary number system. Let's create a simple text file with the text hello world. We can use the echo command in Linux or Mac OS to create this file. Now the file has been created. There is another command in Linux and Mac OS called cat, which can output the content of a file on the terminal. Let's use cat to see what the file holds. Yes, it holds what we have written. Do you really think that file has these alphabet letters? If you think so, you need to carefully watch the next few minutes of this video. There is a command in Linux and Mac called xsd that would show the close to real content of the file. Note that I use the word close to real. I will come back to that later. This command prints the content of the file and you can see a lot of zeros and ones. You can ignore the, the first and last column which are the file offset and human readable text respectively. Let's concentrate on the binary numbers. Each letter written to the file is represented using 8 binary digits. The first 8 binary digits denote the letter H, followed by the letter E, and so on. We can see that all 3 I's are represented using the same 8 binary digits. It is true for 2 O's as well. Even a space between the hello and world and the end of the file marker gets a binary representation. These binary representation for each of these characters are fixed and won't change. As an exercise, you can create four files. In the first three files, write the letter E, L and O respectively. In the fourth file, write the word hello. Now using the XST command, compare the binary representation. In another exercise, use the XST command to see what a picture, PDF document or a video file holds. As mentioned in one of the previous video, a computer just manipulates the flow of electrons that is electric current to perform various operations. The electric charges can be either on or off. Hence we need 1 to denote an on state and 0 to denote an off state. You might have heard multiple times that computer can understand only zeros and ones. But that is not true. Computers can only understand the presence and absence of electric current. Hence, ones and zeros are just a simple aliases to denote the presence and absence of electric current respectively. If that is the case, let's see how this file would be stored in RAM, solid state disk and magnetic hard disk. You can imagine these three storage medium as a grid of memory cell. In a RAM, each cell has a capacitor. In SSD, each cell has a floating gate transistor. In hard disk, each cell has a magnetic grains. A cell in a RAM can have two states, charged capacitor or uncharged capacitor. We use 1 as an alias for a charged capacitor and 0 as an alias for uncharged capacitor. In a SSD, we do the opposite of what we did with the RAM. 0 as an alias for charged floating gate transistor while 1 as an alias for uncharged floating gate transistor. In a magnetic hard disk, 0 is an alias for anti-clockwise magnetic pattern, while 1 is an alias for clockwise magnetic pattern. 
Hence, the letter H would be stored on RAM, SSD and HDD using 8 cells. Other letters in the file are stored using the same concept. Hence, every file in your computer, your photos in your mobile phone and videos and movies in your external hard disk are stored as either electric charges in RAM and SSD or as a magnetic field in the hard disk. A picture with size 1 MB is stored in a storage medium by using 8.3 million cells. Then imagine how many cells are present in 256 GB solid state disk. Maybe you can post the answer in the comment section. If a computer cannot even understand zeros and ones, how does it execute arithmetic operations? The CPU in each smart devices such as laptop, mobile phones has an arithmetic logic unit. Let's assume we have a model ALU. This ALU has two sets of four input lines. Let's say we want to find the product of 7 and 8. But how do we provide inputs such as 7 and 8 to this ALU? Given that 7 can be expressed as 111 and 8 as 1000 in binary system, we can pass 7 to the circuit by passing electric current on three input lines in the set 1. Similarly, we can pass 8 to the circuit by passing electric current on a single line in the set 2. This is how we use zeros and ones in the real world. That is to decide when to control the flow of electric current. In the next video, we will answer the following two questions. Why do we need octal and hexadecimal number system? And where are they used in real world? Thank you for watching this video.